This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. So Elijah Burke is backstage waiting at his 90 days with his WWE release. Is there ever thought process going through your head that, Hey man, if we're just signing a bunch of WWE releases, we look less like the alternative and more like less than, uh, no, I don't think that about Elijah Burke. We know he's going to go on to have quite a great run with TNA, but I'm just curious, like, is that at least always in the back of your mind that it's cool to have these for the short term pop. And we know there's some really talented guys but we don't want to get the perception that we're just WWE liked for sure. I, I, I had that often. And when you looked at our roster of the main event mafia, all guys, and we promoted that fact, they were all world champions before they arrived at TNA. That was their calling card. That's five guys. Uh, you, we didn't want to go much later. Yes, we did. But you look at team 3d. Yes, they were ECW, but they also got over, uh, you know, with, with edge and Christian and the Hardys and, and, and that role. So I was very conscientious of that. Um, very tough balancing act. Um, trying to pull the number ratings wise, but yes, uh, whether it was, yeah, we could go through a whole list of guys that were really good pieces of talent that got their opportunity, but the balancing act of becoming WWE light was always front and centered in my brain always because it went against the grain of being the alternative. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.